Welcome to this week's episode of Your Stock Request for the 29th of August. Hi, I'm Michael Gable, Managing Director at Fairmont Equities. Your Stock Request is the weekly video where I take your requests and analyse the share price charts. So this week we have the Global X Copper Miners ETF, Parenti, Develop Global, Endeavour Group and Regis Resources. So if you have a request, please send it through. Make sure you've signed up to the free newsletter, but my best recommendations come out on Tuesday in the Dynamic Investor Report, so make sure you're getting that report. But if you do enjoy these videos, I'd love you to share them on social media or even leave us a review. Our main business is in portfolio management, so if you'd like my personal help in managing your share portfolio, then please give me a call. And the advice here is general only. So this is the ETF here. Um, that's, that's the daily chart, as we could see earlier this year, great opportunity where you had, you know, sort of a tightening range and a breakout, even this sort of gap up. So there was a nice trade there, of course, but um, as we could see in sort of May and June, as it started to roll over with these sort of big negative days, um, that was the sell signal. So we've had, we've had it pull back, but now it looks like it's, it's heading higher again. Um, yeah, nice sort of ex possible sort of exhaustive low here. We've had yeah, a bit of a capitulation here, closing on the lows, only to sort of gap right back up here um, and then rally. And then also if we have a look at, you know, this downtrend line, it's breaking that. So it might sort of come back to retest this and move sideways a bit. But overall, it looks like it's likely to head higher from here. Okay, Parenti. So if we start off with a weekly chart, you know, as we could see, sort of long term, yeah, not really anything to get excited about. Um, you know, sliding lower, but sort of looking at it a little bit more shorter term, you know, we seem to have this sort of sideways consolidation here. So after bouncing off the low, you know, sideways consolidation, but it does give us some sort of obvious sort of boundaries here on the upper side and lower side. So in other words, resistance here, if it breaks above that, that would be the buy and support, if it breaks support, that would be your sell. Um, DVP, uh, again, if we have a look at a weekly chart, sort of nothing special, just a bit of a sort of slide here since that peak last year, you know, shorter term, you know, initial bounce off the lows earlier in the year, and then it sort of slid all the way back. So you know, shorter term, it is sort of bouncing off that that prior low, not in a massively convincing way. At the moment, it looks like it's sort of hitting a bit of sort of resistance here. If you can draw a bit of a trend line, trend line resistance. But also, we could see that around here near 250 is a bit of a resistance level as well. So it really needs to sort of break these lines until the overall picture is looking better. Um, Endeavour, so again, sort of longer term, you got this slide. Um, a few months ago, it looked like it was maybe putting in a, a higher low, um, starting to rally quite nicely, but you know, just moving back to the daily, as we could see, sort of very negative price action there um, a few days ago. So now it's, uh, you know, it becomes less clear what it wants to do. I mean, that's a bad sign, and you know, we could end up seeing it slide back here, or maybe it it sort of holds in here and gets ready to head higher. It's, yeah, because of that move, it's, um, it's become a bit less clear, to be honest, what it wants to do at the moment. Um, and Regis Resources. So look, it has been underperforming um, the other gold stocks. So we could see in terms of what it's done this year, it's peaked in, in April and the gold price is headed higher and this is headed lower. But if we move to this weekly chart, see a nice, just zoom in a bit more, nice bullish engulfing candle here last week. So sort of potential reversal here um, and it's been holding up. So yeah, potentially it's yeah, reversing at this low, likely to head higher. Um, you don't want to see it under that low. So you know, as long as it holds above that, we should see it creep back up towards the top of the range, just sort of around that 240 level um, and then we can reassess obviously if you can break above this major level then you know you've got a potentially a big move but it's early days reversing at the moment let's see if you can get back up here 
Okay, well that's all for this week. If you have a request, send it through and I'll try to cover it next Thursday for you.